Hello, everyone. Randy here, and today for another Shop Basics with R.D. Allen, and this time we got an old logging chain that is in desperate need of some help. So we're going to be replacing a couple of links in it here, and for that I got a couple of different style links. Pretty much I uh, went down to the hardware store and asked for some chain repair links. They showed me a style I've never seen before, so we're going to be checking that out. And then uh, we're going to be looking at two styles that I am familiar with. Plus there's one style on here that the hardware store didn't have. I kind of wanted to get that one just so I can uh, kind of show a couple different styles, but unfortunately they didn't have that one. But anyway, this is my grandpa's old logging chain. And as you can probably tell, it is in dire need of some help. Uh, there's already probably a dozen, if not two dozen links in it already. I didn't uh, count them up. And the one end has like a couple spare links just hanging off it for some reason. And as you can probably tell too, there's a couple different style repair links in here. And then there's a couple different types of chain here as well. Uh, so we have, I'm, I'm just going to call it like medium strength chain here. So it's somewhat heavy, but not real heavy. Then we go to like some really heavy chain here. There's no links at all in this. Uh, this is all good. I don't see anything wrong at all with this chain. And then we got some, I'm going to call it a little bit lighter duty, smaller chain here. And of course this is all joined together with different, uh, different types of links here. So rather interesting. Uh, what's rather amazing here, my grandpa's tractor was an old Ferguson TO20. And yes, for an old Ferguson TO20, how he managed to break a chain like this, that's, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good work out there for the, the old Ferguson. Uh, I guess, you know, the lighter stuff here is a little bit lighter, but uh, some of this chain, you know, this is fairly heavy chain yet. So anyway, let me uh, show you what I have for our repair links here and let's get started. Okay, for repair links, I've got kind of the style I'm the most used to. Two different uh, sizes here. See a little bit uh, smaller one. It's pretty much one you just uh, close it up and then peen the end over. Uh, same thing here, just a little bit or a lot bigger one. And I've got two of those. And then they also gave me a style I haven't seen before. This is the one they show me. I haven't actually used one of these before. This is a little bit newer style to me. Apparently you slip the chain on, clamp it together. And yeah, not sure about what after that, uh, just a little bit smaller one here. And then of course you probably have the easiest one. Just open it up, slip the chain in, put both chains there, close it back up, and you're done. And as you can probably see, there's a couple styles on here. And then the one style I wasn't able to find, well, I could find it online if I wanted to purchase it, but uh, I didn't do that. Uh, this is like a two halves style link here. So you pretty much just uh, put them together and then peen the little ends over. So you can see there. And then here again. So anyway, let's uh, get started here. And for this, you're probably going to want a couple tools. One, a ball peen hammer. And two, a pair of bolt cutters if you have them. Or, you know, depending on where your chain's at, you might not need that either. But uh, you can always use a hacksaw or sawzall as well, something to cut the uh, chain with if you have to anyway. And, you know, a couple pliers might come in handy and also a, some sort of vise or something to close these up with. Uh, same thing goes with these as well. Usually a vise works great for that. You can uh, just close them up and once you got them closed, you'll have to peen them over. So let's uh, get started here. Okay, and we're gonna start over on this end here where there's some sort of extra links going on here. I don't know what this is all about. Uh, this link here looks pretty good. Yeah, these two looks like they're just extra, so we're going to attempt to cut those off. Might be able to reuse this one yet. Um, I don't know if somebody like tried to close it. Uh, I have no idea what's going on here. So we're just going to cut this off. And of course, when using this, uh, you probably want yourself a pair of safety squints. So let's put those on and make sure we cut to the right one here. That's going to be that one there. Okay, fire and hole. Not the easiest uh, thing to cut by any means, that's for sure. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, that's off. So yeah, like I said, this part looks like it's still pretty good yet. Got one of those uh, style on there. Oh, it actually turns yet too. 
So I think we'll just uh, go down here, look at it. I mean, you can see these chains are chain links are pretty worn, but to, you know, aside from like replacing the whole thing, no need to do that. That one looks like it's pretty good. Looks like someone peeing it over. Could maybe peen it over a little bit more. This one here definitely needs some help. So let's. Uh, oh, there's a bad link there too. I don't like the looks of that link. So I think we'll take that link out. Don't like how that's uh, splitting there. Actually, a nasty crack in that one too. Interesting. There's like some sort of weird extra link in here. I don't know if these are repair links too or something. I'm not sure what's up with that. I can't tell if these are repair links or not. I'm not seeing any indication that they are. But yeah, there's like two weird longer links in here that are definitely a bit oddball. But yeah, I'm thinking we should probably take that out. And we could probably open this back up again. Let's try that. Okay, folks, I think we're gonna go ahead and try to cut the old link off here first a minute. There we go. So yes, there's that link. Wow, look at that. That is some serious damage to that link there. And for those who remember my repair video, while well, this vice is gonna be coming in handy here, hopefully, hopefully it'll uh, stand up to the, uh, the torture we're gonna put it through here. Okay, now that's clamped nice and tight. And we're gonna take the persuader here and try to knock this back open. Like I said, it's not been peened over, so somebody screwed up when they put it on and didn't do that. Oh, that is not gonna work, unfortunately, folks. Let me show you why here. It broke. Oh well, not much you can do about that. I guess we can't reuse that then. That is fine. We got other ones we can use. Okay then, hopefully one of about similar size. That's actually a little bit smaller. They only had uh, two sizes here. They had this one and then they had this one. This is obviously quite a bit bigger. I don't know if this will fit in here or not. No, it will not. So we got to use the smaller one, okay. Okay folks, we got the repair link here. Now there is a repair link here as well. I tried to get that one off. Uh, it hasn't been peened over properly, but unfortunately I couldn't get a good bite on it with a bench vise, so it won't uh, come off, or at least not with uh, maybe some extra persuasion. So let's uh, get this clamped in here, and I'm just going to put the one on it for now, and we'll get it, uh, hopefully it'll hold. Seems to be holding, and then we'll just grab that link, drop it in there. If you want to be careful, this might spring out. So just close it slowly. So far so good. Looks like it's gonna line up. Uh, if this doesn't line up, you can always take this and just kind of pound it down a little bit. But again, looking at the hole, looks like it is lining up. So it's coming through pretty good and nice and straight. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, we'll take it out. It's probably gonna relax back a little bit, not much. And we'll just go ahead and uh, set this up here. And what you wanna do is go ahead and peen the edges over. a little bit difficult to get it to stay on here. We can do that. Let's see what's here. And basically you want to do that to prevent this from coming, being able to come back off. Basically just work your way all the way around, make sure it's peened over nice and good.
There you go. That looks pretty good. Looks like we need to do a few more of these as well. I'll go ahead and uh, do that here in a moment. Okay, we got one link done. We'll kind of continue to work our way down. You can see I peened both of those over. They should be good. That one looks okay. Ah, this one don't look so good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we probably should uh, replace that one. Let's do that one next then. Okay, and for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and try this style link. Like I said, I've never used this one before, so I'm not sure exactly how these work. Uh, just going from what I've been told here. Put them together. And then we'll uh, squeeze them together. Now, unfortunately, I broke a bolt on my uh, vise here. Oh well. Another uh, bolt extraction gonna be necessary there. Let's see if I can open up far enough. Yes, that'll open up far enough. And from what I've been told, apparently you're supposed to weld these together once you get them squeezed together. Uh, for some reason, that doesn't particularly sound like a good idea to me, welding this together on a chain. But that's what I was told. That doesn't mean that's what I'm going to do, though. So we're just going to squeeze the ever-living crap out of this. And see how much it uh, springs back apart here. It springs back a little bit, but not much. Enough that it's going to be a problem. This might actually be a little bit too big for this type, maybe. Uh, let's see what's here. Let's see if we can uh, hammer this closed anymore. Yeah, it's gonna be just a little bit too big down here, isn't it? Interesting. Okay, I way laid on a little more now. It's at least uh, straight, that should do, and hold. And uh, like I said, from what I've been told, uh, apparently you're supposed to weld this here. And that's, for some reason, like I said, that doesn't sound like a good idea to me, uh, welding on this. Uh, seems to me like that, that might create a weak spot there, uh, even though you are welding it. Uh, just heating this up uh, might create a weak spot. Doesn't seem like a good idea to me, so like I said, I'm not gonna do it. And I uh, see no reason why that's going to fail right there. You got two loops and that's, uh, at least if this is going to fail, let's put it this way. This is probably going to fail before this does. So I think that's going to be good. Okay. Continuing on down the chain there. There's the one we just did. That's good. And like I said, this is the heavier part of the chain here. This is all good. And then we get to, yeah, that one's not terrible. This link looks bad though. Wow. Like chunks missing out of it. Let's see here. The rest of this looks like it is all okay. So we just got one more spot here we need to fix up. Where did that go again? Right there. So yeah, that's a pretty nasty looking link there. We could probably leave it in there and wait for it to fail, but uh, I'd rather replace it before it fails. Chunks of it just flaking off here. Wow. Okay, for the last one here, we'll just use the last uh, type here. That's one of these. And these are probably arguably the easiest ones to use. Loop it there. Loop it there. Close it back up. You're done. Easy. Uh, keep in mind, though, these are a little bit more expensive than, uh, say, any of these styles are. But again, you pay for the ease of use there. And I don't know exactly, you know, the strength rate in this, say, versus these, but this is definitely by far the easiest type to do. 
Oh, okay, everyone, with that, I think we'll uh, wrap up the uh, video here. We uh, replaced a couple of links in here. This chain should be in much better shape now. And a couple of different uh, style of repairs there as well. So if you folks have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them below. Also, if you folks have any other suggestions for shop basics, let me know. Leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.